missed you. I missed y'all so much. I did not upload last week. I'm not even going to sit here and give y'all an excuse because it's no excuse. Okay. Shame on me. It's no excuse, but we are here now. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So as y'all know, my first segment is sweet and sour. I'm going to skip the small talk in the beginning because baby, I'm trying to go eat. I'm, I'm, my tummy is, is, is growling. So Sweet and sour. Let's start with my sweet, y'all. We took the kids to Universal Studios. My mom said I went to Universal Studios before, but I do not remember. Honestly, I don't. Um, I was a child, so, I mean, I don't even know how old I was. But anyway, this was the first time that we took the kids to Universal Studios, and I really enjoyed myself, y'all. Like, you know, it is a lot when it comes down to family vacations because it's like, kids they just you know kids like it's not really a vacation but I told y'all last episode that we was going on a vacation so I was like let me tell y'all how it went the kids really enjoyed themselves this was the first time us taking the twins on a vacation it honestly wasn't too bad with the twins but I will say I'm glad my parents came because at Universal Studios it was not many rides at all that the twins could get on and my mom does not get on rides. So that kind of helped with that. Um, so she kept the eye on the twins. But the older kids, they enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. I love the infrastructure in Universal Studios. You can tell, I mean, baby, as they should, as much as it costs. Okay. But you can tell that they really put a lot of money into the infrastructure of it. Like, it was just nice. Like I was looking at stuff like, oh, that is nice. Like, it's just really nice. We also went to Disney Springs. I really enjoyed that. That's like, um. well, we went there for the Rainforest Cafe. So we went to go eat at the Rainforest Cafe. And Disney Springs has an area um, where it's like just a whole bunch of different stores. So it was just nice. I really enjoyed myself. The kids really enjoyed themselves. We really enjoy ourselves. And I have several sweets this week. Well, three. <laughs> But my next tweet is that I finally opened my business bank account. So I'm really excited about that because my friend been telling me over and over again, like Yvette, first of all, it, it took me a while to even make all things Yvette an uh, actual LLC. So then after I did that, it took me a while to open an actual business bank account. So I finally did that. So, you know, I feel a little legit or whatever. So I'm happy about that. I really wasn't going to share it at first because I'm like, who cares? But maybe that'll motivate somebody else to go do it. It's not that hard. Um, also, I got a surprise gift in the mail from my friend, my friend Ebony. I'm going to give you a shout out, girl. Woo so she sent me a book and she sent me a, I think it said 52 week, learn the Bible in 52 weeks. And it's like every week it dedicates certain parts of the Bible and it asks you certain questions and you know, I really, I, I was surprised. She didn't even tell me she was going to send that to me. So she sent that as a late birthday gift. So thank you, girl. I appreciate it. I have not started reading the book yet, which I'll get into later. But I have not started. Um, As far as the sour, you guys, school starts in like two weeks. And I have not picked up a shirt, a sock, underwear, pencil, notebook, folder. I haven't picked up nothing. And I'm just like, baby... <laughs> listen it's like coming from vacation y'all coming from vacation mind y'all I had two vacations back to back I went to Houston for my birthday and then we took the kids maybe it was like three weeks later that's when we took them to Universal Studios y'all if you would like to donate to me it's like nah I'm playing do not donate to me please don't <laughs> but I'm just like lord my pockets can't catch a break because that Universal trip killed me and now school's about to start so I'm just like, mm, yeah, okay, but it'll get done. Um, so I'm not even going to worry about that. So that was my sweet and sour for the week. What is yours? If you're watching visually on YouTube, go ahead and comment below what your sweet and sour is. Also, I want to say, y'all, I look raggedy, okay? That's why I look raggedy because I got a school shop. I just took them on vacation. My eyebrows need to be done. My hair need to be redid. My toes, let's not even, let's not. I had a French tip. The tip, let's just say the tip ain't animal. It's no tip. 
<laughs> it's no French tip at all. So after I get these kids out the way, I definitely need a whole self-care day where I just do the works because I've been putting myself on hold for these kids. But it's all right. It's all right. So let's just go ahead and get into the topic, you guys. So this episode is going to be named, um, I don't know. So what prompted me to talk about this, y'all, is honestly, I've been in a rut on what to talk about on the podcast, what conversations to have. I just really been in a rut because I'm like, I don't know. Like my mind, I, I really hit a creative block where I'm just like, I don't know what to talk about. But then it's so crazy how when you just let things be what is what it is and just quiet your mind, how things can come to you. So I was venting to my friend and I was just telling her that like sometimes, you know, people say read something positive or listen to something motivational or, you know, just fill your mind with positive things. And I feel like. I've always looked at it as how can that be harmful in any way? Or let's not use the word harmful because it's not harmful, but it could just have an adverse effect on you. And I just was like, I didn't understand. I didn't correlate the two on how it could have an adverse effect until I was talking to my friend and she was like, well, Yvette, maybe you just need to take, take a week off of reading anything or listening to things and just try to apply everything that you have read or listened to to your life. So I was like, all right, I'll do that. And the beginning of this week, you guys, oh, my goodness. I felt so just down. Like, I just felt so... I don't even know like exactly how to explain it because I don't want to say depressed, but I just, my mood was completely down and I could not understand why. Like literally as soon as I opened my eyes, I felt down all the way through the whole day. And I just was like, nothing is happening that is changing around me for me to feel this way. So why do you feel this way? So then as I sat there and thought about it, I was like, man, I was like all this time, these months, years that I've been filling my mind with positive things and reading positive things, have you really been putting it into action? So I thought I was, but I realized I was not. And I'm like, baby, you ain't nowhere near where you trying to get to. Like you have a long way to go. And so I just was like, I never thought that me reading so much or listening to so many positive things could make me feel this way. And it's not that those, see, let me explain. Okay. So in the process of me detoxing, well, not detoxing, in the process of me stopping myself from reading anything or listening to anything positive, things started coming to me randomly, right? Let me explain. So firstly, it's this app called Teledipity. I'm not sure if you all have heard of it, but it's this app called Teledipity where you enter your name and you enter your date of birth and it pretty much tells you all about yourself and your life, literally, just off of that. It's somehow connected to, well, not somehow, the whole basis of it is connected through numerology. And, you know, just hearing that, like, how they gonna know, you know, all about me from my name and my date of birth? And you wouldn't think that it would be accurate, but it is. I mean, y'all, it read me for filth. So it give you um, forecasts for like every month and also for your year. So randomly, I'm laying in bed, laying in bed and just, it gave me an email. So I opened the email. This was like 11 o'clock at night. And the email was saying that, I have a productivity mindset, meaning I have so many things that I want to do in my head, so many things that I read, so many things that I fill my mind with. However, when you have so many things that you fill your mind with, so many things that you want to do, you start getting overwhelmed in your head and you do nothing. And I said, oh my gosh, that is me. And if that ain't me to a T, that's me. So then it was saying that 
you have to adopt a juggler mindset. So it was making the reference to like when you're at the circus and you see a juggler, they start with one ball and then they get a rhythm for one ball. Then they add another ball. So it was telling me to whatever habits I'm trying to create, start with one habit, master that habit for a month and then add another habit. So I was like, Oh, that sounds so simple because in my mind, this is how I think. All right, tomorrow is Monday. It's the first of the month. I'm going to wake up at 4 a.m. I'm going to the gym every day. I'm going to eat healthy every day. I'm going to meditate every single day. I'm done drinking. Like, that's how I be doing. <laughs> like, baby, you can't do all that. Like, then when one thing falls off, I feel like a complete failure. So when I read that, I was like, man, like, I never looked at it like that. So then... On top of that, when I was listening to, I was scrolling on YouTube. Matter of fact, two things. I was scrolling on YouTube and an interview got introduced to me. So it was this interview with, I don't even know the guy's name, but I know he was interviewing um, David Never Sleeps, which he has a podcast called The Social, I think it's called The Social Network Podcast. So he was saying that, he is very careful with what he reads because he knows that if he reads certain thing, then he certain things and he's going to feel some type of um, he's going to feel compelled. Like he's going to feel like he has a duty to follow through with what he read. So he is very selective with what he reads because he might not be ready to even explore that area of his life. And even though. I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, like I'm reading something positive. Maybe it will direct me. It will direct me to where I want to be at in life. It actually was causing me to feel an imbalance inside because I felt like that what I was reading and what it was telling me to do, I wasn't following through with that. So the third thing that happened that just, popped out at me is when I was on YouTube so I came across this lady named Abraham Hicks she has so many videos I believe she upload videos every single day this particular video that I clicked on I want to get the name of it for y'all because I want to like say it so y'all can know that like this video literally I was like this is not something that I would click on it said the title was you will feel delicious feeling of angels guiding you through life Y'all, I would not click on that because I'm like, what? You will feel delicious feeling of angels. Go what? What are you talking about? But I clicked on it and it described how I felt to a T, y'all. To a T. Like, it was, it, it pretty much explained that when you have, when you expand your mind to a certain level, that your soul knows that you can reach and you're not doing that, it's always going to make you feel like you're in a state of despair. You're, it, you know, and all of those negative emotions start depression. You know, it just makes you feel like that. Like, what is life? I'm so depressed. I don't know what to do. And she was saying that that's because your mind knows how far you can go. And your soul knows how far you can go, but you're at you yourself is not, you're not pushing yourself to that level. So it makes you feel imbalanced because it's like, you're constantly thinking I could do this. I can do that. I know I shouldn't be doing this. I know I shouldn't be eating this. I know I should be going to the gym. I know I should be sitting down doing my work. I, and it's like, you're not doing none of that. So it makes you feel anxiety, anxious. You know what I'm saying? It just makes you feel all of those negative emotions. And Somebody in the crowd asked her, well, how do you stop feeling like that? And she stated, the only way to stop feeling like that is to where you know that you can go, you have to go there. Stop resisting because the only reason why you feel that imbalance is because you're resisting your true self. You're resisting from expanding your mind. Because I always wonder, like, why is there people out there that don't care about bettering themselves? They don't care about doing this, that, and the third, or what they know. Like, we could see the potential in somebody that they don't even see in themselves. And I always wonder, how do somebody just go through life and just not care about bettering themselves? And now I understand it because, for one, if you, if you keep your mind at a certain level, 
you content with that. You fine. You, you, it's not, you don't want more. So being that I feel my mind with so many things and I know so much that I can do, I know that I'm creative. I know that I am just a limitless being. I know that. And I'm not acting on that. That really bothers me. Like to my core, y'all, I be ready to crawl into bed and cry. And I really can't even tell you why I don't reach for the level that I know I can be at. It's like, almost like I'm frozen. Like you see something, but you're frozen. Like you just can't touch it. I can't, I can't, I don't even know how to explain it. If you understand, you understand. If you don't, I don't know how to explain it, honey. But that's how I was feeling. So like all this week, I'm just like, man, like me taking a break from reading things. It's crazy how things just started coming to me, coming to me just randomly. And I'm glad that I took that break. I'm glad my friend told me to stop reading. You know what I'm saying? Because some people might look at it like, oh, she a hater. She telling you to stop reading. No, she's none of those things. Like she very much wants the best for me. Like she's been telling me to stop reading just for a little bit, not completely, but just to give your mind a break. You know what I'm saying? Just let your mind be free. So that's where I'm at right now. Like I'm just trying to apply everything that I have been reading, listening to, because I know I could do better. And I know I have a requirement from me that is going to require for me to do better. And that the if I keep fighting it, I'm always going to keep waking up feeling like, you ain't shit. You ain't doing nothing. Like, that's how I'm going to feel, even though those things are not true, but it's trying to propel me to more in life, more that I know I want. You know, I guess I don't want to encourage anybody to not read because it's like if you are not even expanding your mind to that point, it definitely could help because I feel like when I felt that I was just content in life and I was not trying to do anything more and I started reading it definitely helped me expand my mind to know that you can do this and you can do that and you can literally have anything that you want in life and you know it's, it taught me all of those things but now it's to the point where I have so many books every day I am reading every day I'm listening to some something positive and even though for the longest it has helped me now it is kind of overwhelming me because I know how much that I need to do to get to where I'm trying to be in life. And, you know, even with this process, another thing that Teledipity told me is that um, you are going to, because I get like weekly insights that tell me what should I expect for the week. And it was telling me that this week, something is going to be triggered inside of you that shows you that you pretty much lack a better word. You ain't all that you saying that you be, you is like, you not, all that you think that you are and if that ain't this like that's how I'm feeling right now because I'm like baby you have a long way to go you have some work to get to all of the success and the monies and the peace and all of these things that you want you have more work that you need to put out because it's like even when it come down to peace you say that you want peace but you constantly let other things that other people do bother you to the point where you can't even function. So how, you know what I'm saying? So I just have a lot of work that I have to do you guys. And I wanted it to, I wanted to share that with you because I know that even on Instagram and even in some of my, some of my videos, I'm always talking about a book that I'm reading or something like that. And never would I have thought that me reading and doing all of these things would have had an effect on how I'm feeling now but it truly does. And now for the past two days, I have been feeling much better because I'm like, okay, now I understand why I'm not crazy. I'm not, cra now I understand why I feel the way that I feel because baby, for a second, I'm like, baby, like what is going on? Like, <laughs> what is going on? Why are you feeling the way that you're feeling? Because I felt like everything inside of me was changing. Everything inside of me was sad, but it was nothing on the outside of me that was changing. So it's like, why are you feeling that way? So I had to really get down to the root of why I'm feeling that way. So that's why I have not picked up the book that my friend gave me just yet. 
but I'm definitely going to, of course, start back reading. I'm not, y'all, it's, it's something that I love. But right now, I just have to get my ducks in a row, organize my mind, figure out, you know, how am I going to get to the point that I want to be at in life. And really, it's not that hard to figure out. It's like I just have to take that first step, which is something that is so hard for me. So what I've been practicing this week is that everything that I've been putting off because it just overwhelms me in my mind or I just feel like it's too hard, just do it. And, y'all, it's not one thing that I have did so far that's like, oh, why wasn't I been doing this? Like, girl, you calling causing yourself a headache? Why? So... That's where I'm at in life right now, y'all. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry if this video was just like, I mean, I'm sorry if this episode was a little boring, but I feel like it could definitely help somebody out there if you are feeling the way that I'm feeling where you know, you know for a fact, like can't nobody tell you nothing. You know for a fact that you want more out of life, that you will rec acquire more out of life, and you just feeling imbalanced because you just feel like you can't get there if you are feeling that way just know that it's because your soul your higher self knows what level you can reach and baby you plan yourself okay i'm playing myself hard hard body <laughs> so that's it for this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed it i do not have a book that i'm going to recommend you guys because like i said I have not been reading, but I will recommend that you go check out Teledipity because it really does tell you like your personality, like your mission in life, your what purpose you may have in life. It gives you a forecast every first of the month that lets you know how your month is going to be and even how your year is going to be. It sounds crazy, y'all, but I'm telling you, like, it's like it'd be on point. You know what I'm saying? So just try it out. It's called Teledipity. And also, if you have not checked out Abraham Hicks, because she has a lot of good videos that could resonate with how you're feeling. OK, so that's it for this episode. I love you guys and I will see you next Friday. Bye. <laughs>